this is soft resin we will be continue from where we stop okay so uh, in this video we will be looking at uh, foundation design of uh, uh, this uh, our stand okay uh, so uh, we will quickly I go to uh, story zero okay you double click on story zero you go to uh, 3d you navigate to your plan view okay once you navigate to your plan view I actually intended uh, using a, a, a rough foundations but uh, later uh, I will do a video on a rough foundation design later on so uh, we will be using a part foundation for uh, this uh, particular in this particular video okay so you select your column okay once you select your column you right click okay you right click okay it shows it's not showing me uh, foundation options the reason is because I am on story one okay and so I will double click on story zero okay and then I click on it then I right click and then select inside part footing okay once you select inside part footing it will bring up the dialog box where I will have to change some things okay I want to change my footing depth I want to change it to 350 okay and then this T bar I will use Y 12 okay and then I do calculate all right then I do a uh, square footing it's giving me 2500 by 2500 okay and all my check punching check everything is okay but I will just want I will just like to use this for this video okay so I click okay and then okay again it has inserted the foundations but the footing is also okay I do the same thing yeah calculate square footing okay okay calculate square footing okay calculate square footing okay so this is our foundation if you are not in my previous video kindly go and check my video on this particular topic so you can start uh, with better understanding with us okay so this is the 3d this is actually what we expected okay so what we will be doing now we click on set project to actually save the project all right also what we need to do let's us go to level one okay and then we go back to our plan view okay so we want to generate the uh, drawing and details of what we have done so far and so what we need to do is we have to go to ROC design okay click on ROC design and then you click on proto details okay all right and uh, so it will take us to this interface but that detail interface okay 
So in proper detail, uh, what you need to do, uh, there is no more setting. If you want to start producing your drawing one by one, you will have to you will start by creating new drawing. Okay. Yeah, by you click on this arrow and then you begin to produce your drawing. Okay. But I normally use auto generate details. Okay. So you just click on this auto generate details. Once you click on it, a dialog we show draw detail. Okay. And so you check this point and then we click on draw. Look at the unit. Okay. And other things. Then you click at any point. It will take some time to produce your drawings. Okay. All right. And so this is this is the the drawing. Okay. You can see the columns sizes has been dimensioned successfully. Okay. These are the concrete columns, okay. Alright, the these are the levels as in the stories, okay? You can also see the column schedule. Okay? These are the beams, okay? These are the uh, beams. The foundation beam. Okay, see two white sitting top and bottom. Okay, see the barb in the schedule for the beam. Okay, so these are the foundation details and the bar bending schedule. So, you want to export this drawing to AutoCAD? What you need to do is you come to this export DWG slash. DSF. Click on it. Right click. Okay. Then click on export. All right. So it's actually the version you want to export to. I normally export to the lowest version 2007 so it can be opened in any other versions. Okay. And so you click on export. The reason why we are exporting to AutoCAD is for further editing okay so this is it will show you the folder in which it was exported okay and so you click on the drawing and open it in AutoCAD click on continue All right. Uh, so this is the detailed drawing open in AutoCAD for further editing. Okay, but this is for the concrete. Okay, this is for the concrete and also the steel uh, sections. Okay. Uh, so this is how you can you know export your drawing from Prota to AutoCAD okay so thanks for viewing with this you can now begin to edit your drawing and then you place them in a sheet okay so thanks kindly subscribe and like the video bye